Hello, friends and followers. As you can see, it's Sunday, November 21st. Getting late here, but not that late. So I'm still working around with the uh, Jandy Aqualink RS and controlling now with the Aqualink 2.0 software. Revision R in the controller board in the Aqualink RS control box. So I do have a sensor on order for the pool temperature which goes into an actual, I think it's the intake pipe on the uh, filter. So that needs replaced. The air temp is working. So I did some reordering of the relays and the valves. There's only one valve that I have working, which is for the waterfall. Anyway, the way I did it was I realized that my Superflow Pentar Superflow pump has four wires that allow me to control it. So uh, if you look at a Pentar Superflow, there's there's four buttons on it. There's a quick clean button, there's a pump, program three button, program two, program one. So you can set these to any speed you want. So what I've done here with the Jandy home page here, I've mimicked the buttons on the Pentar Superflow pump and okay, why did I do that? Because I can set the Superflow pump to any speed I want. So I put quick clean here, the quick clean button at 3450 speed. I think I put this one at like 2200, this one like at 1700, this one at 700. And so what I can do then is ground wires on the digital connector on the Superflow to bring out Quick Clean program, to bring out Pump 3 program, or the third number three program, number two number one. And what that does is it allows me to change speeds. So how this works is each one of these buttons is actually an aux, like this would be uh, aux 1, this is aux 2, this is aux 3, this is aux 4, aux 5, aux 6. So I need five relays. I need relay here, relay here, relay here, relay here. I need a relay for that. This relay already exists and the pool light is turned on. So let's go through on the Jandy how you would control a Pentar Superflow pump and how you would set up the uh, Jandy software to do this. So. Really, you have to go in here to the menu and fiddle about. So here's the menu, and I did set some scheduling up, and let's show you what I did. I, I turned my pool light on and off now, so that's actually an assistant setup here. I'll first go through how I did that, which is, you know, not real hard, but it's handy. So here's dusk setup. So for dusk, I have the pool light going on and off. So I set my city time zone. I, I'm not sure what this is for, but I can't get it back to zero. So I quit pushing it. Sunset time um, devices. So right now I have the, uh, the pool light going on and off. So you'll see it has an X there. So with that X, it will interact with this pool light and I can also turn it off at a certain time. So let me see how we do that. So keep it turned on, do a save. Okay, yeah, off time. So I think this is like a global off time. So everything comes on at sunset and goes off at 11. So this pretty much works that way. And yeah, I can turn this stuff off at 11. So anything that's on dusk enable and dusk disable they all go off at this time and that's pretty cool so i simply have the pool light doing this but this doesn't help you learn about the uh, pentar superflow does it so let's go back to something else a little more relevant back to menu here and set up so this jva stuff is this is really for your valves so it's for motorized valves so for these JVAs, I, I'm not sure what these are really used for. I don't, it says it's used, but I'm not using these in mine. 
And so these JBAs are labeled and on my board, I have six oxes, one, two, three, four, five, and this is actually aux six. So on aux six, I use the solar plug for the JVA for the waterfall. That's just how what I did. So when I see the solar JV activated, that's actually my waterfall on aux six. So does that make sense? No, but that's how I did it. All right, so there's also a way to name your oxes. And let's go over that. Let's see, I think that's over here. No, let's go back two screens. Okay, ox naming, naming oxes here. Here we go, label oxes, this is it. So I label my oxes. Ox one, I'm now calling quick clean, meaning that my ox one function, I wanna fire a relay. And when that relay is fired, I want to put five volts into the uh, Pentar digital input. I want to send five volts into the quick clean program. And that would light up the quick, quick clean light on the Pentar and run whatever speed is in there. The same thing for aux two. If I hit that, I want to run the pump three program, which is a pump three button on the, uh, on the Pentar uh, Superflow. Same thing with pump two, that's this pump two button, pump one, so you, you kind of got this now, right? And aux five is my pool light, so each of these is now a relay plugged into the aux one socket, the aux two, aux three, aux four, aux five. And the extra aux, I don't have a relay on it, I'm simply using a JVA to uh, control that, the waterfall with the solar JVA output. So a little convoluted, but it does work. So that's how that works. And let's go back to the menu here. So pretty simple. And so I could schedule these things. I haven't done that yet, but right now I'm not really running anything. The pump does come on. I'm not sure really what to do with the pump function itself because I'm not going to use that, but I could basically add circuits like if I want to run my pump on on a, a slow the slowest speed I have I would run it on pump one so pretty easy select that and then I could start adding the times to run it all these different days and all that so that's my theory that I can basically run different speeds of the Jandy I'm sorry of the Pentar in Teleflow at different times of the week so that's how I'm going to have this thing running once I get an extra relay installed and once I get the uh, pump for the uh, Superflow, the, the wiring for it, the actual plug, which is a round plug, eight connector, eight pin. It's a real bear to find that plug. So that's about it. That's as far as I've gotten with this Jandy uh, Aqua RS, but I'm pretty happy with it. So you can also customize the home on this thing. Whoa changed okay do i care about this no delete it okay delete that thing ah it's gonna make me save it really be careful what you do with this thing right save it oh man so once you commit to this thing you better finish it right or it's gonna it's gonna mess with you start time 1 p.m enter Not that this works at all. Stop is going to be. Well, I guess I can save it. Nope. Stop time. There's a big dog out there, huh? Okay, how do we do stop time here? Start time, stop time, run days, all. Start time, stop time, stop time. Let's go with like 1.30. Not that makes sense. Uh, no, it's wrong. 1.30 p.m. Enter. Okay. So this should give me valid start and stop times. Now I can save this thing, I think. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to delete it. Delete it. Boom. Yes. Okay, well, that's that. Anyway, you got a demo of how to schedule. 
And of course, I customized home. And how I did that was I basically just put these buttons on relevant things that I wanted to do. And that's really all there's to it. So I did a custom naming on this stuff. And that's it. So down here, you can do a custom, I think, somewhere here. Where's custom? Is it here? Somewhere they got a custom. Okay, I think when you assign these, yeah, when you assign these oxes names, you can make them a custom name. And here you simply choose them and put them in the order you want on the home page. That's about it. So not rocket science, but that's what we're doing here. So yeah, when you work on the oxes, when you name them, there's a way to uh, do a custom on them. So you go like this, and then you can do a custom name on your oxes. That's how I did it to give them some relevant names for what I'm doing here. So that's about it. All I need to do now is find a plug for the Superflow that is really hard to find. It's a four pin plug. Everybody's sold out of it, so I could probably show you what I mean here. If I can get a screen up here to show you. Superflow, Aqualink, no, Superflow. Super, Superflow. Pentar communication cable. This thing is all sold out. So you'll see this one come up. This is not correct. This is for the IntelliFlow. I was Superflow, it's older. This cable talks RS-485 and my pile of junk doesn't do that. So um, what do we do here? Let's say minus, okay. So let's see if this gets this thing rid of that stuff. Nope. I'm still getting Teleflow, so I tell it don't do Teleflow, and I still get it. There is a Superflow part number for the. There it is. This is the part number I need right here. This three five three one two nine Z, and it's sold out everywhere. So yeah, that's the little baby I need right there. And nobody has it. So for the fun of it, let's do a search on it. Let's try and find it. 353129Z. 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 And what do we get? This guy says he has one. I bet it's sold out. Who knows? I tried to find this thing for an hour. I couldn't find it, so it's probably sold out. Okay, well, thanks for watching. That's all far, about as far as I got with this uh, pool, and I hope it makes you happy watching these videos on my uh, stubborn pool controller. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.